so I'm gonna start doing moto vlogging missionary updates probably the first ever in history I don't know all right so uh, I'm just gonna pretty much tell y'all what I did the last week what I've been working on this is pretty much for people that know who I am so I am absolutely horrible at doing missionary update letters like you're supposed to send one out every month or every two or three months or I don't know whatever it is I'm just really bad at it so yeah I figured if I did some vlogging I uh easier than riding and I could probably get a video out every other week so yeah so I'm just gonna update y'all on what I did last week and then maybe I'll try to rack my brain see if I can think past then so anyway Jeremy's in uh, America still right now on deputation or quick furlough um, I may uh, 20th. Matt and Lydia just got back from their Lalalo trip yesterday, or well, yeah, yesterday night they got back. Uh, I had to run services pretty much by myself. Well, it's not like I ran services, but I was there to help orchestrate, get the uh, projector and the laptop and everything set up and uh, get everything working. Anyway, uh, services went pretty good. We didn't have a super big crowd because I kind of picked everyone up a little bit earlier than normal because I had to pick everyone up. Normally there's multiple vehicles that are going out to pick up people and uh, this time it was just me and Fraser picking people up. So uh, I had to do more pickups so I had to leave earlier and people weren't prepared. To, uh, I, I, I guess we didn't tell them you know, we were going to pick people up a little bit earlier so our bad for not warning. Anyway, we still had a fairly good crowd, uh, good service, Pastor Beats and Breach. Um, but as far as what I've been working on last week, put in a new toilet for uh, Jeremy. His old toilet had, we just get really bad calcium buildup in everything out there because of the uh, way the well is set up. It just, we get a lot of calcium. So it blocks off the toilet, like the fill where it goes into the bowl. It fills all around that so just the water flow doesn't go. So anyway, uh, replaced the toilet, put a new bedroom window in for him. He, he only had one window in their bedroom and it was, I guess it just gets really stuffy. So I put a window on the opposite side so the air can flow straight through. Uh, been working on Jen Scarfie's house, a new translator we have here. Uh, translating the Bible. And uh, we put in some new walls and we're going to start putting in cement sheet now. So we checked everywhere in Luganville. They didn't have any cement sheet. So uh, Luganville downtown Vanuatu or downtown uh, Santo. Uh, they didn't have all the stuff that would normally carry it, didn't have a thing. So uh, finally, after like three months of waiting, they finally got some in the mail. <laughs> in the mail. What, what am I saying? I don't even know anymore. They got some on a ship, finally. So, uh, yeah, we've got the cement sheet. Now it's just a matter of throwing it up. All the walls are there. Uh, yeah, so it's going good. Um, oh, and we've been, we are working on the boys' bathroom. Finishing that up. Well, we still, well we're going to finish Jen's house first. Uh, I think that's our main priority right now anyway. Uh, then we're going to focus back on the bathroom. Yeah, so we, we're thinking we may not spackle it. We may use like this heavy, it's like a plastic type glue stuff and you put it on the walls. It works pretty good. I, it's easier than spackling anyway. Uh, so we may do that. If anything, we'll just build up the cracks and then paint it. Still need a, and I can't uh, put the doors on the showers until we get the stuff on the walls because we got to put trim on the, uh, well, not just trim, but like an actual post covering the ends of the walls so that, uh, 
I can attach the door to it. Otherwise, I've got nothing to attach the door to. So yeah, we gotta wait because the wall's gonna be wider. You're in my lane, buddy. I bet you thought you were cool. So this is uh, Matt's bike I'm riding. He lets me abuse it. I mean, uh, he lets me ride it. And yeah, I'm on my way to town to pick up some nails for. Uh, from Big Bay, the chief up there, Francois. So, yeah, I'm going to pick up 12 kilos of nail. That's like 25 pounds, 24 pounds. That's a lot of weight. I don't know. Pokey, you know, nail. So. Also picking up some honey. We have no honey in camp. Because that sound weird if I just said I was going in to pick up honey and hell. I don't know. Alright, uh, what else have I been doing? Uh, I don't know. That's just a quick, short little, what I've been doing this last, uh, week, pretty much. Uh, I guess we worked on the bathroom the week before. Anyway, hopefully I can keep this up. I don't know if I'll be able to upload these. If I can't upload them, I'll just put them on an SD card and mail them to back home to Caleb or someone in my family and have them upload them for me. So if that happens, it's going to be like a two-month delay in between all these updates. Anyway, whatever happens. Uh, also, hopefully you can hear me. I left... The GoPro has two different doors. There's one that's filled and there's one that's open with little slots. And I left that on it, but the wind was pretty bad, so I'm testing this out. I don't know if it'll actually work. But I've taken... Ah! The gecko just crawled out on my desk! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, he's having the ride of his life. Every other week, maybe. So, yeah. 